Hello everyone, in this video I will be demonstrating my assessment for PDE 3432 Mobile Robots and Manipulators of Modeling a Robotic Manipulator in LaVue. The assessment contained two tasks, to show forward kinematics by manually moving the joint angles for the end effector to reach a point in space. The second task is to show inverse kinematics by indicating the required position of the end effector for the homogeneous transform to calculate the joint angles to reach that point in space. As I run my VI, I have used a total of four links and four joints, but the first link represents the third support with a total height of 350 millimeters. This link has a length of 250 millimeters. The link after that has a length of 350 millimeters. And the last link has a length of 100 millimeters. All joints are revolute as required. This joint is my shoulder joint. The joint after that is my elbow joint and the last joint is the wrist joint. As I move the joint positions of the joints, the values in the end effect to transform also changes. Note that the first 3x3 matrix represents the joint angles, whilst the last column First three rows represents translation of the end effector in X, Y, and Z. Now let's look at the inverse kinematics. Keep an eye on the end effector position, which represents the position of the end effector. As I place the robotic manipulator at floor level, you can see that the end effector is at zero. Note that the extra 50 millimeters is to simulate the height of the Festo puck. Now the first shelf stands at 200 millimeters off the ground. The second shelf stands at a total height of 400 millimeters off the ground. And the third shelf is 600 millimeters off the ground. Note that the targets have an extra 50 millimeters to simulate the height of the festo puck. I have also created an auto path to simulate the block stacking task to move the festo puck from the floor to the first shelf to the second shelf and to the third shelf. As the simulation is finished, the button for my auto path goes back to its original state. I can also change the speed of the robotic manipulator. The less steps there are, the faster the simulation is. As you can see, as I reduce the steps, the faster the simulation is.